How y'all doing? I'm uh, Harry Neal. I'm one of the, the deacons here at the bridge. <laughs> um, as we were, we were in the back thinking about um, what we'd be saying and, and what we'd get, I actually got one I, I would say would be one of the more important ones, even though we probably shouldn't say that, but prayer. Because if we think for just a minute, uh, the very first thing that we do when we come to the Lord is pray. It's the most important part of our relationship with Jesus. And, easy, and oftentimes, we get a one-dimensional prayer life uh, where uh, we treat God as a genie and we, 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 grab the, we grab the bottle and we rub on it and we, we ask God for, God, could you help me with this? Could you help me, help me with that? Lord, can I, can I have this? And we oftentimes forget that the relationship that we have with Jesus goes two ways. So my son, uh, he's 10, I, I, I try so hard to establish what a relationship with Christ is. Not just going and praying and not listening, but sending up a prayer and receiving an answer. Uh, because oftentimes there's, I'm going to read a verse, but even as I'm, I'm standing here now, there's a, uh, there's a verse in Corinthians many years after uh, Jesus had ascended into heaven. And, and Paul is saying, uh, Lord, I, I prayed three times for you to take this away from me, and, and I get no, no peace. And, and Jesus responds with, my grace is sufficient for you. And the reality, the awesome thing about that verse is, it's in red letters. So even though Jesus had ascended into heaven many years later, he speaks right into Paul's life, right with the red letters of Jesus' own words. Um, but let me share this quick verse for you. First Thessalonians 5. I'm going to read just a few. It says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. And I like to add this one. Do not quench the Spirit. Oftentimes in that one dimensional, we can easily quench the Spirit of God because we lose that communion that God so desperately wants for us. It's awesome to have a God that, we, that wants to have a relationship. He doesn't just sit us down here and twirl us like a top. He wants to speak to us daily. So this year, uh, as we're thinking about these, these spiritual um, principles, think about your prayer life and how more you can intercede for others, how more that you can listen and receive what God has to say for you, and how closer your relationship can be. Because it's the first thing that we did was cry out to God in prayer. And so each and every day, come back to him. Ask for forgiveness. Ask for a fresh feeling of his Holy Spirit. And let him continue to work his mighty power in you through a three-dimensional relationship with Christ instead of that one-dimensional, hallelujah, Lord, I want to talk to you today. So uh, prayer. Um, what can uh, you do to be more in prayer this year with the Lord?